In this video, I am going to discuss how can we integrate exponential functions. So, for that reason, first we need to know some formula. Formula 1, integration of e to the power x. We know e to the power x is the exponential function having base e. So, integration of e to the power x is equal e to the power x plus integrating constant c and integration of e to the power ax will be what integration of e to the power ax is equal e to the power ax divided by derivative of ax and we know derivative of ax equal to a so we need to divide this result by a plus integrating constant c and similarly integration of e to the power a x square plus b x will be what this equal e to the power a x square plus b x divided by derivative of this derivative of this function which is 2ax we know derivative of ax square a is constant and derivative of x square equal to 2x so derivative of ax square will be 2ax plus derivative of bx is b this derivative we discussed in our previous lecture so you can have a look there plus integrating constant c Similarly, let me show you an, another example e to the power 5x square plus 6x plus 7 is equal to what is equal e to the power 5x square plus 6x plus 7 divided by derivative of this power 5x square plus 6x plus 7 and derivative of 5x square equal 10x derivative of 6x equal 6 and derivative of 7 equal to 0 so this is the answer so we understand formula 1 and formula 2 now formula 3 and 4 here the base is not e instead another constant or real number so instead of uh, having base e if your base is another constant like a a to the power x then your result will be same like before a to the power x but instead in addition you need to divide this result by ln a plus c hope you understand here we did not divide by ln e because ln e equal to 1 so you don't need to put ln e but if base is not e you need to divide e to the power x by ln a for example another one b to the power x is equal b to the power x divided by ln b plus c another one let's say integration of b to the power 2x which is b to the power 2x divided by ln b into derivative of 2x which is 2 so you need to divide this result by 2 Another example, integration of 7 to the power 2x square plus 3x plus 5. So it will be what? It will be 7 to the power 2x square plus 3x plus 5 divided by ln 7 ln 7 into derivative of this this expression derivative of this power which is 2 into x square 4x 
plus derivative of 3x is 3 plus 0 plus integrating constant c. So, this is how you can integrate exponential function. Let us try to understand this example 0 to 10, 0 to 10, 30 e to the power 0 0.06 x dx. So, here 30 is constant, you can put 30 out of integration and integration of e to the power 0 0.06 x will be e to the power 0 0.06 x divided by 0 0.06 and you need to put the lower limit here and upper limit here. Again 0 0.06 is constant so you can put 0 0.06 below this 30 0 0.06 and now instead of x you first need to replace x by its upper limit. So, e to the power 0 0.06 into 10 minus replace x by lower limit 0. So, it will be 0 0.06 into 0 which will be 0. Now, this equal 30 into 100 divided by 6 into e to the power 0 0.06 into 10 which is 0 0.6 minus e to the power 0 equal to 1 and this equal 500 500 into e to the power 0 0.06 you can calculate by using your calculator so it will be this 1.8 double 2 1 1 8 minus 1 so the result will be 4 11 point 0 0.059 and similarly let us try to understand this integral 2 to 4 6 to the power 0 0.5 0 0.5 x dx this equal 6 to the power 0 0.5 x divided by ln 6 according to our previous formula into derivative of this which is 0 0.5 the lower limit 2, upper limit 4. And now ln 6 into 0.5, you can calculate it by using your calculator. That will be 1 by 0 0.89588 into 6 to the power. 0 0.5 into upper limit 9 upper limit 4 minus 6 to the power 0 0.05 into lower limit 2 now by using your calculator 6 to the power 0 0.5 into 4 which is uh, 6 to the power 2 0 0.89588 into 6 to the power 2 means 36 minus 6 to the power 1 which is 6 so 30 divided by this will be 33.49 this is the result and that's all in this video in our next video we will discuss how can we use this exponential integration in order to solve some applications